Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. So much fear is looming in other camps, especially APC and PDP and other anti obedient camp. Considering the rate of cooperation, Peter OB is about to enjoy as we make progress into the future, preparing for 2023 presidential elections. Now, I'm talking about the trade union. Congress. There had been a lot of bohaha here and there in some states uh, with uh, LP's, uh, the, uh, LP's um, leadership. And it seems as if in some of the states things may not work out well. But guess what? Shockingly, um, there seems to be unification as the Trade Union Congress has given their words to Labour Party concerning, you know, presidential uh, presidential. Uh, uh, election victory. We're going to be looking at uh, where this is coming from and other um, promises that we have also heard from different quarters. But before we do all of that, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do well hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the Trade Union Congress, TUC, and Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, have vowed to mobilize workers to work to ensure that the Labour Party wins next year presidential elections. The LP's victory, they said, would change current narratives where bandits and terrorists have threatened to take over even the nation's capital. Chairman of the TUC in Crossfield State, Comrade Monday Agbodum, who spoke at LP synthesization and town hall meeting held in Kava, also emphasized that because of how serious the tax ahead is, they have resolved to nip in the boot. The earlier differences they had with the Labour Party leadership and break all barriers in order to achieve their aim. According to him, he said, we have sorted out earlier differences we had for the sake of achieving our aim. We are not leaving any vacuum. We are partnering with mainstream Labour Party to deliver Mr. Peter Obi as next president of Nigeria. LP has to take over the federal government being ordered to, in order to change the current narrative and save our federal capital, which is under siege by bandits and terrorists, and also save the country from heightened insecurity. National Vice Chairman of Labour Party, Prince Ruben Favour, called for unity of purpose within the party, charging them to visit all chapters and assure that all must work harder and start out. He assured that unlike what people are saying, that there is no money in the party, that their presidential candidate, Peter Obi, is stingy. He explained that they are people who are frugal with resources, unlike those that are wasteful and corrupt with national resources. He said other parties will continue to make mistakes making their supporters and electorates to distance themselves from them until Labour Party emerges victorious. In his word, he said, In Labour Party, we are not wasteful but are frugal, but our, our supporters and members will certainly smile. We are also very careful, even as other parties are busy making costly mistakes. We urge our members to convene senatorial and chapter meetings as regularly as possible. We need many more groups which should be integrated into the mainstream Labour Party. State Chairman, Labour Party Ambassador Ogao Sim said this this is the time for Nigeria to liberate from heightened insecurity, misgovernance, corruption and impunity. According to him, he said, God will use Labour Party to change the country for good. This is the first time something new and positive will happen in Nigeria. We are a positive force. Mm, quite interesting. You know, the reason why Labour Party seems to be gathering so much momentum and success seems to be at sight right away is because of the dismal performance of this current administration. It has never been this bad, I'm telling you. We have seen situations in this country in terms of insecurity, in terms of economic 
nose dive, but it has never been like this. Currently, as I'm talking to you, a dollar goes for about 695 Naira. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria. But I think in 2017, Buhari was still on board then. Uh, we saw something like this, you know, similitude of something like this also. But after a while, it was put under control. But guess what? It's getting very bad. Fairly, I just said that EFCC has started visiting some Buru the change, uh, the kind of break in and try to see how they can effect arrest and all of that just to checkmate those who are fully involved in buying of dollars and trading of dollars and all of that. It won't save the day. There are things that are expected to be done. And really, do you do those things, these monetary issues will be put under check once and for all. Nigeria is not a production com country. We are consuming and not just consuming. We are also, uh, we don't have enough um, uh, capital for our human resources. We do not have enough uh, jobs for our people. So every opportunity, people want to take advantage of it and make more money on top. Fortunately, insecurity has also uh, created more interest for good governance. And the only person Nigerian seems to trust is Labour Party Peter Ob because P PDP was given a chance and they blew their chance. APC was also given a chance. Seven and a half years have gone past, nothing visible uh, we can point at and say they have done in this area. Just fairly recently, I heard about the issue of uh, you know how much is used to take care of our debts in the first quarter. I think what we were supposed the revenue realized was I think one point six billion naira and what they're using to service the debt is about 1.9 billion naira so more 300 billion naira was i don't know where they got it from you know to fix it just to show you that it is not pleasant for us as a people we need someone who have the capacity to do this we need someone who has a track record and peter b is a person and unfortunately with what is happening everyone seems to be migrating right now from apc from pdp to working assiduously with the labor party to ensure that they win at the end of the day because like what happened yesterday in dunamis uh, it, it was quite shocking it was as if the savior of Nigeria just arrived in uh, Dunamis Doom, and this is the only person that will salvage us from the impending doom that is about to ground Nigeria, you know. And it's getting worse every day because uh, the only thing that would have uh, um, trigger support for APC and PDP would have been if the current administration have done taken some bold step to correct certain abnormalities that we have seen thus far. But unfortunately, it's getting worse. Day after day, we are losing our soldiers. We are losing our people day after day. And uh, with that on ground, there's no way support can go to them. So with TUC in all the states and uh, NLC in all the states ready to work together to deliver Pital B, I think it's going to be quite stressless, you know, because these same people are also in the northern part of the country. They are also in the southern part of the country. So imagine the unification to work together. It therefore means that the victory is on site. And uh, all what we need to do is to continue the sensitization and also uh, to see how uh, people can fully come out on that fateful day to vote. That's a welcome development. And with that, um, we are marching on. You know, the obedience we are marching on. All right, that's what I'd like to leave you. Go to our comments.